Yeah, so the uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer came out today. Um, you know, I've been waiting for this for a little while. I really liked the Amazing the first uh, Amazing Spider-Man movie um, because I was getting tired of the, I guess, what's the guy's name? The, the producer, the Tom Rami, I think his name, but the, the, the previous Spider-Man trilogy. I got kind of tired of that. I don't know, it was just it, that... Tobey Maguire and that all that whole thing seemed kind of stale to me. There are parts of it that were good, and I do enjoy the movies themselves, but it's just that I was just... It was just such a similar storyline or whatever from each one. I It got stale. It got very much stale, and I thought that the, uh, Andrew Garfield and, you know, Emma Stone, and, you know, this was a very nice breath of fresh air, at least in terms of Spider-Man. And so, you know, when I heard they were putting the trailer out today, I got really excited. Because, like I said, I really, really liked the first one. I think I ended up seeing the first one in theaters twice. Once by myself, and then once when it got cheap. And it went to, a, like, a, you know, a second-hand theater, I guess, or whatever you'd call it. Where they get movies, like, literally right before they come out on a video, on DVD and Blu-ray. And you can watch them for, like, four bucks. So, and I saw it again. Because there was, uh, I really wanted to go to the movies, and there was nothing else on. Um... Right off the bat, I guess there's a lot of the fallout from the first movie still going on. You know, um, that that thought process that, you know, as long as Spider-Man keeps saving people, you know, he's going to make enemies. That's kind of a common plot line. I hope that doesn't lead to the whole, I don't know if I want to be Spider-Man anymore plot line. That's kind of, a, again, that's a very, very stale plot line. Especially because, like, in 2, I really liked the, the Spider-Man 2 that came out, what, about 10 years ago? Maybe even less than that. I really liked that movie, but it seems like their, their reasoning for, you know, for him stopping being Spider-Man, for him not being Spider-Man, just did not seem like a good reason. I don't know. It just... They didn't make it good enough for me. Or is it? I hope if they do end up doing it, they, they make it better. Um, he's also still in a relationship with Gwen. It's really cool that Gwen's still in the movie. Um, originally, they did have her and then somebody else playing Mary Jane, who you know is probably the more famous of Spider-Man's two main love interests. But, um, you know, I think I think that's a good indication that Gwen's going to live, that she's not going to die like she does in the comics. Because, uh, you know, because Mary, I feel like they, they would have to introduce Mary Jane in the same story as she dies in order to just not make it really weird and have like a, make a weird beginning for the next movie. If they, if she does die, I feel like the next movie will start off really weird when, if, when they inevitably, because I think they've decided they're going to make a third one, when they inevitably make The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Um, shit, a couple other things. Um, the whole situation with his dad is explored. Even further, uh, we find out the, the real reason why he left and what they were going to use his research for. And we find out that they're Oscorp's making superhumans. Um, the Rhino, I think it's the Rhino who's hinted at, except instead of they give him like a metal costume instead of like a, him having like a some kind of weird, I don't know, uh, normal costume. It's actually like a metallic suit, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, Electro, played by Jamie Foxx, which... We've known for a while now. Uh, they did a good job. They showcased a lot of that in the trailer. And then they also introduced... They had cool glimpses of... You can, you can see... Uh, I think there's a glimpse of the Green Goblin somewhere in there. So maybe he's going to be in the movie. Maybe. I don't know. And then also you see Vulture's wings and uh, Doc Ock's tentacles. Uh, they're shown in there. So I, I don't know if that's like, hey, you know, we're planning, we can plan on doing all of this for a long period of time. So, uh, you know, we have plans to use many villains. But um, they also introduced Harry Osborn. And I don't know if I like the actor who's playing him. He just seems very uh, to smarmy, if that makes sense. He seems just very smug. And I don't know. He. The relationship they're building in this version is not like the version that I'm that I'm usually aware of, which is that Harry and Peter are best friends. I think they're just like, you know, acquaintances from school. That, that that's what they're making it sound like. Um, anything else? I mean, there was a cool action sequence moment between Electro and Spider Man, and so this makes just makes me really really excited for this movie. It comes out in May. I'm not, uh, I do not remember the exact date. I'll I'll put it I'll put the exact date in the description. 
uh, after when I'm uploading this. But, uh, you know, I'm excited. I can't, you know, can't wait to see this movie. I want to, I, like I said, I really like Andrew Garfield's portrayal. You know, Tobey Maguire, he was awkward, but he wasn't the right kind of awkward. He was just, you know, awkward. Whereas Andrew Garfield's, you know, socially awkward, which is how Peter Parker's supposed to be. That, you know, he's not, and he, and he doesn't cry every every five minutes. <laughs> or if he does, you know, he's a bit more of a smart ass than Tobey Maguire was. You know, they, they threw in a couple lines of, of him, of Toby being a smart ass in, in the movies, and I think they work, whereas I think they work really well with Andrew Garfield. The first movie had, I think, some of the funniest moments uh, that I can think of in, in any Spider-Man thing I've seen, you know, comics, the animated TV show, live action, what, what have you. I think that's some of the funniest stuff I've seen. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they're gonna play it off, and they're, there's all kinds of good stuff. I recommend seeing the trailer. I know IGN has it on right now, so I definitely go check it out. Um, is there anything else I can think of to add? I mean, like I said, movie comes out May of next year, so it's not too far off. They'll probably have a bunch more trailers and um, probably have sneak peeks and all that, so keep your eyes out for that kind of stuff, and I mean, I'll probably be covering. I really enjoy uh, this this uh, branch off of the Spider-Man franchise, so uh, yeah, catch you guys later.